what's everybody, Dr. Z here, and welcome back to uh, Sea of Thieves. And today we will be uh, trying to do the Heart of Fire. Uh, we'll be doing one of the paths, and uh, I'm joined by Micah once again in Sea of Thieves. Uh, wherever he... Oh, there he is. Um, we're trying to get him the Ashen Curse, which... If I sit down here and press this button, you'll see that I already have it. Um, it just makes your character glow with fire. Um, actually, my face, my eye, and my fingers are the best representation of it. This is say so then we can get uh, further along with the Ashen quest line. And I need to pull out Foxington, because I forgot about him. I cannot forget about the Fox boy. Um... So yeah, uh, first thing you're going to do when you're trying to complete this is going to Morrow's Peak Outpost, which we need to go a little bit to the right anyway. If I can get to the wheel properly. Actually, you can see it. It's almost like straight ahead. Actually, no, it is straight ahead. It's that right there. Um, and what you're going to do is once you get to Morrow's Peak Outpost, you'll you'll see that we will walk to a very specific book inside the tavern or the pub um, so yeah I'm going to uh, cut till we're there for the book alright we're back um, we're gonna shoot ourselves over to the island but that was not high enough Go a little bit higher <laughs> yeah we're gonna shoot ourselves over to the island because it's easier that way since uh, well, the, the boat needs to still be out and about. Because um, we got to go to another place immediately after selecting this. Uh, there will be some dialogue that we're literally just going to walk away from, since we've already seen it about, um, at least I've already seen it about 13 times. And you only really need to see it once. So you walk up to the tavern, and the book is right here next to the music box. So you're going to vote for the tall tale. The lady there will talk. Then this lady here will talk. There will be a guy that pops up here. Um, yeah, it's... Yeah. What we're just going to do is immediately beeline it for the mermaid. Get back to the ship and head to the place called Liar's Backbone. Which is the place you're going to. Alright, um, we need to go face to the left more. I am lagging. Keep going left. Is it that place? Keep going right. left. Keep going left. Straighten her out. Straighten her out. That's good for now, we can compensate That's as we need to. Uh, we're not going to the volcano though. Going to the volcano though. Yeah, it's good. Just keep her straight. Yeah. So, um, if you're wondering where all this is on the map, it's the bottom right corner in Devil's Roar, Morrow's Peak Outpost. That's where you need to go. Um, we're doing the Tall Tale Heart of Fire, and after you get the Tall Tale started, you'll go up to the Liar's Backbone, which, uh, there's Shipwreck Bay, Galleon Grave Outpost, up there, is, yeah, Liar's Backbone, and there'll be a specific spot that you'll have to go to. Also, what is that noise? Is that, is that the volcano? I think so. Okay. All right, well, uh, we're going to skip till we're at Liar's Backbone, because this includes a lot of sailing. All right, so we got to Liar's Backbone. So got to... Micah got a, 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 a rowboat. No, I'll let you do that. I can't. No, I'm not, I'm not touching that thing. I, I'm not touching that thing. I am horrible with them. Horrible with them. All right, so once you get on the island, you're going to run all the way up and over here and right down to here. Flick this lever. 
door will drop. The liar's lair. And I like to just jump over that door. I don't even have to look at the symbols because it's got to be that. Uh, which one was it? No, it does not have. That's not what I wanted to do. Okay, so it is that T. It is then the V, and then it should be the hook. And then you pull the lever, then it opens. You get, you get the scroll notes. I don't need them because I know exactly where I'm going. But you grab this key. Uh, oh yes, by the way, there is a notebook you need to read. Where was that at? Uh, over here, on this shelf. Um, if you wanted to, you could seal yourself back in here. I do not recommend to do that, though. Because uh, the one time I did that, I got jumped. So, we're not going to talk about that. Now we're going to go back to the boat. The ever so slow boat. <laughs> this is a lot more fun with the brigantine, in my opinion. But, you know, sloops... You got, you got a sloop. Got to do with a sloop. Brigantine's better for like three people, in my opinion, not two. But you know, it's what you got. All right. So then you stick that there. You got that. Now, it, you gone from Morrow's Beak Outpost to Liar's Backbone. And then from Liar's Backbone to Devil's Thirst. Uh, more riding of the ship. Eventually, after you complete it more than once, I think, or at least once, you should be able to then propose it as a Tall Tale quest. But, you know, we can't do that for now. So what we gotta do is we gotta turn the steering wheel all the way to the left. We'll raise the anchor after Micah gets the boat, the sail on, the robot on. Actually, I'll, actually, no. Let me try and get the robot on. Okay, so this took a uh, a lot longer than I had expected. So, um, yeah, so this is going to be time-lapse for you. And uh, long story short, I just eventually gave up on trying to get the rowboat on the ship. So, yeah. All right, so now all you have to do is raise your anchor. What's up? I need to take like a 180, basically. Yeah. Raise your anchor. Um, if you came from Morrow's Beak Outpost, you're going to just pull 180. Pull Actually, 90. in our case, it's going to be like a 90 it's degree turn. Like 90. Um, straight. Straight. Uh, don't crash anything, though. And, uh, yeah, you'll just make your way to the yeah, Devil's Thirst. So, Devil's yeah, thirst. we so, will be yeah. back and we need to go right. So yeah, uh, we will cut to where we need to be. Alright, we are almost there. We are getting ready to drop the anchor. Okay, I'm going to drop the anchor now. Um, it's off to our right. You might have to carry the key a little bit, but not, hopefully not too much. Um, so over there, you can see that thing just above my cannon. I, I, I can't. Okay. Um... Not my cannon, my blunderbuss. Uh, so there is a spot under the water that you have to go to. Um, but first, you'll see uh, at the top of that peninsula, like lift arch, whatever you want to call that thing, there will be like a little torch there at the very tip. It'll light a bunch of other torches once you light it. That will reveal the area that you need to go to. So I'm going to go light that. So yeah, oh, I just reached for now level 65. So some people might think they could get up from that way. You can't. You have to. Uh, actually, I wonder if this will work. I've never tried this before, but yeah, no, it won't. Okay. Um. Oh, there's a chest here. Okay, we'll get that chest after we're done with the place. Um. So what you have to do is you got to run back over here. This way. 
This way, a little bit more this way. A lot more this way, actually. And you run up here, don't get hit, don't, don't, hit, don't, yeah. Um, but then you gotta run up here. First time I did this, I thought it was this lantern here. Yeah, no, it's not. It's actually this one over here. So then you gotta light the chalice. Let's see the torches light up. And they'll lead on down to where Micah is. And then pedestal will become available to be used. There is flame hearts. Laugh. I'll put the key down here so you can show them how it works. Yep. So that key that we got back at um, Stitcher's hideout or the liar's lair will be then put into this pedestal right here. Go ahead. Goes in, you turn around. And there you go. Welcome to the secrets in the deep. You've come to steal my chest and stop the ritual. I think I have. Such a pity you won't leave here alive. If you really think you can make it through, I invite you. Yeah, I think I will. I think it will. I couldn't remember where to go. That's right, it's over here. So we'll go on over here, over here, over here, over here, over here. And then we'll come back on up right here. And we drop back down. It's the first time I've ever done that without having to try and dodge stuff. Uh, but then we'll loop on over here. Where there will be some lava you need to not touch. And what if I don't? Do you want to pass the show? Uh, What's up? Are you doing all three paths? This no, we're just doing the, the one path you need to do. Okay. Yeah, um... Yeah, I, I've already completed this, so I don't need to do any of it, truly. But I figured I'd, I'd do a video on it. Um, real quick, I know you've already gotten this, Micah, but uh, for those of you who do need it, you need to read this book here. Um, and then there is the different skulls on the ceiling that you need to light on fire. Uh, there's the other one. So, I thought we already did this one. No, I guess we didn't. Uh, yes. We did? Okay. Oh yeah, that's right, because I think that's the first one I made you do. So then we need, right. we've done the middle one, so we need to do the T. We've done the left one. I think. We have? Because I know, I, know yeah. I sent you down the middle one first. Yeah, I did the middle, then the left. Oh, so you didn't do the right? Okay. This is the one I hate the most. Alright, uh, oh crap, I forgot. I need the, that so we can throw it to there. Run on through. Um, I forget what all you're doing here. And, oh, okay, that's right, this one. Okay, I know what this one is. I know what this one is. Woo! That was close. No, I couldn't reach it. I didn't jump. We both died. Do 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 do
All right, let's try this again. I cannot help you. All right. Um. Yeah. You got skeleton. I killed one, so just like a lot. Now. Ow! 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 Eat! Ow! I am lagging. Start making your way. Ah. Watch behind you. Yeah. Okay, never mind. Didn't need to shoot them. Um. Ouch. I have no food. I'm going to die. Round two. I fight. The fully is open. It's slowly stopping. Okay. Uh, you're gonna have to raise it yourself. Okay. Now with the book. Yeah, just wait for me. Because uh, actually, once you get to the spikes, you need to wait for me. Oh, that's right. Doors over here. Police over here. I'm gonna die again. Yep, I died again. Okay, um, let's try this again. Try this again. Oh, yeah, Mike has already reached that area. Wait, Micah, did you continue past the spikes? Uh, no. Good. Oh, well, there's the spikes. <laughs> <laughs> Did you die too? Yeah, I died to the spikes. Make sure you get some food out the barrel. Barrel? Oh yeah, that's right, the barrel. Um, yeah, there is a book in the spike area that you need to find to complete the thing. Um, okay, food out the barrel. Coconut. All right, wait for the spikes. And now you go, you go into the alcove. Into the next alcove, which is the book. The book's right here. I can't. Uh. Right. You reading it? Yeah, yep, that's all. Okay. Five. <laughs> you. Don't die, don't, 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 don't. I can't, okay. Uh. Do, 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 do. I'll wait for you since I'm nice. That was close. Come on, come on, come on, now, now, now. Alright, flick the lever. Pull the lever, crunk! Alright, here we go. Jump over the door. Should say that you completed it now, once we walk through this. And then. Bye, Stitcher Jim. Alright, grab the chest of rage. Oh, that was a weird glitch. <laughs> um. Keep the chest of rage away from the skull. There we go. Here we go. Let us get going along with it. 
All right. That's right. Yep. Ah, uh, you sure about that? Ow. Don't care, put me out. Please. No. Alright. I'm sorry, Foxington. I just... I, I just got to. Uh... You know what? I'm sure if I need more, I can get more later. So, you'll do this, a little bit of this, a little bit of this, a little bit of this. And then don't forget, this is a jump. Yep. Do, 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 do. Um, drop the chest of rage in the water right here. Uh, let's leave one alive that does not have a sword or a blunderbuss. Then one of us can distract whilst the other one lifts. I actually recommend the one with the blunderbuss. What's up? It's better with the one with the blunderbuss because they try to keep the distance. Oh. I know. That's the last one. Ow, ow, ow. Yo, I keep it distracted. I got this by myself. So this is this is a decent strategy that I've learned over time, is keeping one alive whilst you have your friend raise it. If you're doing this solo though, you're gonna have to do it in quick successions of taking them out. Um, as Micah just recently said, the best is using Blunderbuss, Ithier. And I, I, I suggest that for Ithier alone. Uh, let's go, let's go, let's go. I'll grab the chest. Alright, bring it up here. And then... I'll take the chest from here on out then. Yep. I don't know if I'll take the chest the Actually, I think this is it. We just gotta literally carry it out. Yeah. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. so all you gotta do is now just get the chest out of here. After completing that. And then... That's really it. You then just have the other two paths, which are... Um... The one's harder. It's the very left one. Alright. Yeah, the, the left one's the hardest. Sorry, I'm leaving you behind, but... Yeah. No, that's right. Okay. And then you literally just take it up to the Panhedron, or the Pendragon, or whatever his name is. I'm gonna try and see if I can find a Kamikaze Keg. Aw, oh, no Kamikaze Keg? Okay. Still gonna go grab that chest that was over here. Ashen Castaway's chest. I think we might have to get an Ashen Key to get this though. I could be wrong. So yeah, you give him the chest, he does his cutscene. No, there is no need for a key, so you just have to sell this. Yeah, but he does his thing with his sword. Come on. C come on. F Fox! Fox! Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Ah yes, you are part of the, the, the hug. I'll take him back. Thank you. Come here, bud. Reunited at last. You've demonstrated incredible bravery. And I'll make certain that everybody hears about it. In the meantime, you should get some rest. Stitcher Jim and his console yeah. are still at large. And now that they've
Are you, you good? No? <laughs> Did you pull out your mouse to do that? <laughs> yeah, I love being mouse keyboard on Xbox. Alright. Back to the ship we go. Um, actually, I'm gonna drop I'll this and... Mermaid. Yeah, well, uh, well, let's let's do the outro. Where you go? Where you, oh, you're back on the ship already? No, you're not. Get no. over here. No. Get over here. Back, back, nice boy. Yay, eight thousand gold for completing that too. All right, um, please stand still. <laughs> uh, that's all we have for you today, everybody. So if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. We'll see you in the next one.